regarding the uh, handheld gaming thingy. Uh, I'm gonna give it to him. I can't imagine where you found that thing or what you had to do to get it, but I'm impressed. <laughs> uh, the character model and the portrait have certain disparity between them, I would say. Uh, oh, cool. I'm definitely more in the market for working systems, but <laughs> I'm willing to give you something for it. How about scrap? Thanks. Who knows? Maybe I'll even find some double A's and get it working. Ooh. Come again anytime. I mean, we already have scrap, but I guess we're happy to oblige because this would be like this is this is in the name of completion because now there's more. What did I CDs, I think, and floppy disks. So this is because I want the uh, arcade to be more complete. There. Now we can carry on with our business. I also want to look inside this uh, weird... Uh, weird wagon again. This is a human heart that I put there. Nothing? What was this place again? I keep mixing up the wagons like all the time. Oh, okay, this was the stockpile that we have emptied long, long time ago, as evidenced by the empty safe. There. Oh, it's a valve. <laughs> I suppose if you were to approach the weirdo wagon with the right companion, then maybe you would learn something more about that, but I don't know. Okay, we carry on. As per usual, we steer clear of the generator because then we're in trouble. Uh, yeah, let's let's not even do the whistle this time. Hey. Awkward. <laughs> Step in, maybe brother the the source has some insight again. Although I think we have yeah, I'm pretty sure we have visited this with him and he didn't say anything useful or interesting. <laughs> funny tangent or well, not not so much funny, but we were clearing up our country house uh, uh bookcases because we uh we needed to clear
here the rooms for our neighbors and among all the books like some of the books we marked for giveaway and some for keeps and I set up a little extra uh, extra crate that was marked the post-apocalyptic uh, corner so I guess this one was the same <laughs> Hey, people, hurry up. We don't have all day. Yes. So from here we shall avoid unnecessary encounters and head for the canyon. Behind the scenes we uh, visited the citadel. We got rid of a whole lot of stuff. We um, donated the uh, dirty grenades to Lieutenant Boom Boom and by donated I mean I dropped them in the corner because he wouldn't... Uh, I, I think he only buys manure so yeah we couldn't... fuck off! we couldn't actually sell them to him but uh, we left them, them with him and uh, we also gave the semi-depleted uranium uh, doodad to the weapon tinkering lady. Go away. We also dropped some bacon in the uh, mess hall's corner. Again, there was no way to officially hand it over, but there you go. Mm, yes, I want to end up at that end. catches my eye. Alrighty. Now the reason I stopped by on this side is I have a hunch that might mean nothing but who knows. Or it's more like an idea. Very random idea. So, Gary, there's this thing that I thought maybe you would like, uh, except who's carrying it. Uh, yes. Oh, he doesn't say anything. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Anyway, 
That's why I wanted to pass through here. Let's return here. Also, what was this? Okay, water merchants, outpost 3. This is where we picked up the gun. So have a little business to attend to at the temple. As before, we shall leave the clinic alone. It's so quiet here now. back. I don't think we have any stuff to sell you right now. Nor you. Did we put anything in here? That might be the case. Nope. Okay, very good. Just checking. So, there is something I forgot to drop. may now continue. Oh, right. This too. I forgot about this. For you. For you. For you. Let's rip it apart. Bam! And so it begins. multi-pass continues
everybody stay back. How's your skill level now? The same. Okay, we will return here on a later date. I actually know what's here, but uh, we can do that later. So now comes the proper dilemma. Whether we do the silo before or whether we risk doing the main mission before not knowing whether we can ever return here. That's the thing. What you do in case of a dilemma? You make a save. We are gonna visit the Monta though, just to check if they're all right. Oh yeah, let's go for a rare entrance. the whole thing with Vargas and uh, the main mission when he says that uh, we should go there without any delay and without no detours uh, I don't know if this is like a literal instructions as in if you if you wait bad things will happen or if it's like a hint hint there shall be detour because we know there shall be So how are we doing smashing wise? Are we strong enough? Oh, oh, okay. You're gonna break your toes probably. Okay. Oh. Not the tootsies. Okay, we will go around. But now I know that it's gonna wear off after a while, so I'm not that worried. The first time it happened when we uh, when we had to save Ralphie, then I reloaded a whole lot because I thought that it was a permanent thing that only a doctor can, like only a doctor can ever fix. Ah, oh, you're all right. Hello. Show them our new snazzy robot. Thanks for helping me get rid of those robots, Rangers. Hello. You're the ones who put a stop. 
talk to the robots in the graveyard? That's awesome. Maybe now Demonta can get back on its feet. Any? I've got a couple of things. Show me. <laughs> a lot of the things that we have brought in. And I don't think we're gonna sell anything at the moment. Anything else, Rangers? Bing. Thanks again for the save. And good luck out there. Oh, okay. Need any repairs? Uh. I don't know about that. Oh, okay. Come on back if anything needs fixing. Oh, it's spelled differently. Jamie. Oh, okay. Need any repairs? Huh? Oh, okay. So once they Come have on back if anything needs parted fixing. with it, they don't they don't talk about it. Let's go check on Jill just in case. But things seem to be quiet over here. starting to form a decision that I will indeed place the repeater before doing anything uh, at Silo 7. I mean right now the main threat at the canyon is that Brother Bonkers will... oh hello will uh will break out and do something ha huh. was she always here hello moo i say Good to lay eyes on you. Howdy. Well, we want to trade, but we we're, we're not gonna buy or sell anything right now. Not even these. Bye. Thanks for getting my cows back, Rangers. Guess we'll wait here until the eastern trade routes open. Maybe help these folks get their town back together. Okay. Adios, Rangers. Everything seems quiet here. So, radio station. Yeah, that's it. Oh, you're almost all right again. Okay. There's a dilemma save there, but this is a decision save. Now, I have already once encountered this situation and the last time we totally missed that there is an intercom on the wall, so instead we um, we used the rocket launcher to get this open. What the? Did, did one of you robots 
figure out the intercom? Well, you can't come in. Not by the hair of my chitty chin chin. Unless I hear a human hello, I ain't opening the door. Oh, hello. Wait a minute, that sounded awfully real. Who's out there? Hmm, sounds like somebody's joking with me. Well, I don't open the door to jokers <laughs> either. Go find your own shelter. Rangers? What are rangers doing this far east? Huh, who the fuck cares? If you killed those robots, you are my new best friends. Come in, come in. Yep, we are, oh, we are your best friends. Oh, the guy really does look like a Big thick gray hair and a big thick beard with a big white smile blazing through it. So, at first I thought that these sound bites are a glitch, but then I realized the other guy, Dale, did it also. I think they are part of some sort of club, cult slash nudie club thing. So I suspect that all of them do that, even though I've only met the, this one and Dale. I tell you, Rangers, you got here in the nick of time. One second more, and those metal motherfuckers would have blown down my house like the big bad wolf. You have my eternal thanks, and also beer if you want. It's in the fridge. I'll take the beer, but you do realize you have been sitting behind that locked door for like, I don't know, weeks? Dale? Huh? Oh, okay. Damn straight. I don't know what happened exactly, but all of a sudden, all those dead robots that have been rusting out in the airplane graveyard just got up on their little metal feet, good as new, tippy toed into Demonte, and started killing everybody in sight. Goddamn creepy is what it is. Just north of here. Might have been a military facility back in the day. Now it's a scavenger's dream. Mm -hmm. Acres of rusty old tech just waiting to be explored. Even supposed to be a missile silo back there somewhere. Get a lot of traders coming to DeMonta to collect scrap metal, engines, etc. But this robot business is going to put the kibosh on that. Hey, my. That's what I've heard. Supposed to be booby trapped, though. <laughs> Very few who go in there ever come back alive. Maybe she's just uh, like to stay. Well then, you must be packing a pretty powerful tower back at, uh, what's it called? Ranger Center? Your dispatcher comes in pretty clear when the weather's right. Ooh. Uh, what now? Uh, wads and horsecock what? Oh, for triangulation. Well, why didn't you say so in the first <laughs> place? Well, as long as it doesn't interfere with me bringing the music to the people, go ahead. Wait a second, what am I saying? DeMonta's got a problem, and you seem like a group of problem solvers. Oh. How about you well-armed individuals doing DeMonta a little favor before I let you pass my fancy lap? When you put it that way, <laughs> your team, excellent. Here, take Ooh. the key. So, uh, how about our problem? As you might have noticed, uh, we've got a bit of a robot problem. <laughs> I'm sure you cleared out a fair number of them getting here, but more and more keep coming out of the airplane graveyard, and I'm afraid that even if you kill all the ones in town, as soon as you leave, we're going to be infested all over. Oh, again. the plot thickens. So me and all the surviving citizens of DeMonta would sure appreciate if you cats uh, went in there and found out what's been sending all those robots to kill us. And when you do find it, uh, we'd just be tickled pink if you was to blow it <laughs> straight to Kingdom Come. <laughs> what do you say? Does he mean the synth in the hangar? What do you mean already done? Oh, ah, yeah. You already took care of it? Can it be true? Is the infestation over? All hail rock and roll! <laughs> this is great news! Have another beer while I go broadcast the news. <sighs> Hallelujah, children! Deliver it as come! The plague of robots is no more, and it's all thanks to that. 
the Desert Rangers. Let's all give them a big Gabunda welcome. That is, if anybody's left in town. <coughs> I see. Mm, quick save here. Uh, about that bear. I can't scroll in. Okay. Jukebox. What can I apply there? Mm, nope. Can I hack it? Nope. Yoink. And you get a bear. 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 You get a bear. Whew. Now then. So I wonder if he has declared the whole shit over. Do we get different talk options with the local folk? Because up until now we always had the opportunity to tell them that it's it's still not safe. Also, what does the logbook say? Uh-huh, uh-huh. wonder how that whole thing goes down if you already have uh, the friendly synth in your in your midst if you attack the hangar will it turn against you <laughs> we'll have to put him down <laughs> ah, so this this text has actually changed when I Oh, I think it's a different mission. Because when I when I was reading the logs when we were doing the multipass phase climbed back then uh, we had the different uh, different text here oh yeah this is about silo 7 okay okay guys this is it shall we Let's do this first. Mercy, 
is in the bullets of our guns. Sisters, it is in the tips of our bayonets. It... Whee! Good. North-South access is dialed in. Now for East West. Towers three and four, if you please, Winston. The best of mankind and make it better. <laughs> Science! Death of every sinner who is too blind to turn to the light. Excellent. All signals locked in and holding steady. Triangulating now. Location is 34 degrees, 8 minutes, and 2.77 seconds north. 118 degrees, 19 minutes, and 18.10 seconds west. Hmm. That would put it at... Good God. Can this be right? This... This reading is in California. <laughs> I didn't think California still existed. <laughs> oh, God damn. <laughs> uh, Ranger, unless you've got extremely urgent business where you are, I want you to return to base ASAP. You are being reassigned. Copy? <laughs> All right, Echo One, do what you need to do, but get back here as soon as you're done. Don't stop to smell the flowers. You read me? Copy. Roger, Echo One. See you soon. Ranger Command out. Well then. Now. I, since I have already done this once, I already know that once we reach the western side, we get reassigned again to do the prison prison stuff. So, on one hand, there is no rush, but on the other hand, I guess the game's now on. Also, let's call you in. Stop the other one. Congratulations, Echo One. You've done well. You have no idea how well. Okay, let's see. Can I up your explodies? I think we can. So, alarm stuff will be his from now on. And I did up his lock picking last time, I think. So now no perks at the moment. Before before we go, let's go check on these folks as well. Show me the optimal path. Are you going through here? No. Ah, oh, okay, the truck is no longer blocking the way, is it? So we can now pass through the water company yard. Right? Yes, okay. Oh, okay. So this uh, this is always an option. Well then, I am going to end this episode here, and we shall meet again at the prison's gates, or more like when we uh, receive the mission. See you then. Bye.